Hello, everyone. Hi. So Welcome. happy to have us together. We are right on time, which is perfect. Hello. I'm going to quickly make Celine a panelist. Here we go. Sorry, everyone, bear with us for one moment. We are on. We're just waiting. I'm trying to make Selena a panelist as well, okay. but it's just going to take a moment. Welcome, everyone. Oops. <laughs> Always something to learn on Zoom. Of course. I like that. Today is going to be so informative and such packed with tips, techniques, um, insights. Uh, we're really going to get very, very micro today. So, so happy to have us all together. Very blessed for that. And um, I'm excited for us to share, um, you know, what I've become the master of, and, and it is um, ageless skincare and ageless makeup and techniques. So as soon as we get the go ahead. Mm -hmm. Just another moment. Okay, perfect, perfect. So for everybody that's already on, if you can be mindful when you type any questions in the chat that you do all panelists and all attendees so we can all see your questions and then we will answer them. Um, I will have Celine answer them as well. Just promoting her to a panelist so she can see all of your questions. Perfect. So now, Celine, I will make you smaller. And there we go. Okay, so perfect. Celine is here. So, like I mentioned, just make sure you type to all panelists and all attendees. We will answer your questions. And we are going to start off by just telling you really exciting things mm -hmm. that are happening. Um, first and foremost, we just launched Della Heart today, which is an incredible lymphatic body focus line. There is this incredible panel and body oil and new products. So that is so exciting. We are also really excited to share the gift with purchase, which is from shopping today. When you spend 300 on anything on gbeauty.com.ca, you are going to be getting a complimentary Agent Natur Eye Serum. Which I use. It's at a value of $120. It's one of our best selling eye serums and that is so exciting. And I'm gonna let Miriam take it away. As I mentioned, please ask questions. And for everyone watching live, welcome. And if you're watching after on YouTube, welcome. welcome. Okay. Hello everyone. I'm so excited about today because today we're going to focus on ageless makeup and uh, techniques and tips. So before we start with the makeup application, I'd love to share with you what I do as prep. And this prep really does help the process of keeping, you know, your skin very youthful. So the, what, the number one tip is, you know, generally as you age, you know, your skin in some areas lose um, its color and you tend sometimes to get a little bit paler. So what I've started to do um, in, I'd say just about twice a week, I prep my skin at night with um, the self tanning drops by Dr. Sabat. And I'm going to show you how I do it. I'm not going to do it today because I usually do it um, at night, but I'm just going to share with you my tip. So I take, for my face, because I do have pigmentation, I don't like to self tan it directly um, with the drops. So I mix it with the Barbersturm Hyaluronic and I'm gonna show you how I do it. 
And I do it twice a week. So I take just two drops, one, two. On the silver mixing. On the silver, yeah. I, as you know, I use a silver mixing palette as my go-to. One, two. Then I take the kabuki brush and I keep one kabuki brush just for my tanning. I mix it together and I then apply it all over my face, on my eye, on my top eye bone. I go to my ears. I go right directly under my chin. So this is not bronzer. This is actually the self tanning um, drops. I go directly under here, right under my jawline. And then I go right down on the sides of my neck because that will elongate your neck and give you a definition of a jawline. And also um, it gives you a nice definition of your ears. So I go right here, along here, underneath my earlobe, down the side. And sometimes I do across the collarbone, but I definitely work this area here. So that is my face. And I do mix the two because I want it to be even. I want it to be hydrating, which the self tanning drops are, but I need it to be emulsified with the hyaluronic. Then my other tip for evening out the skin is on my hands. So with that, I just take two drops of the self tanning. I put it on the palette. I take my kabuki brush and then this is what I do. Okay, and I go in between and on my hands. So in the mornings when I wake up, hey, I just stepped off Centro Beach. And it really does help. Um, I can see on the days that I don't do it, I go, hmm, you look tired or you look looking a little weathered. But with a, a nice little touch of the sun, you're always feeling so refreshed. Trust me on this. I am going to tell you it is a winner. Okay, so we're going to talk about winners today. So again, I mix it on my face because I don't want the self tanner to be applied directly because it does, after a while, um, will draw out any pigmentation you have. So when you do mix it with the hyaluronic, it goes on and it emulsifies. And I don't use as many drops as I do on my hands. So again, Make sure we get underneath the jawline and on the sides of your neck and your hands. And if you feel that you want to wear it, put a little bit on your wrist, go ahead. I do too. Okay. The second um, tip that I'm going to share with you is once we reopen, we have to do the brow trio. So it is a brow lift, a shape, and a tint. That um, I did fill it in this morning because I was at the office, but I can't wait to do it because in the morning, so I'm not wearing any makeup, but you can see that all it does is just lift and define your um, shape of your eyes. And also it will separate between, you know, it gives you a definition between your forehead and your eyes. Extremely important. Another tech, another service that I'm going to be knocking on the door is the lash lift. That in itself is a, um, a lash tint and it also lifts your lashes. So when you wake up, you wake up awake. You know, you, you, you have a definition to your eye between your eyebrows and your eyelashes. Very important. All these little steps matter because it just ha gives you the, you know, I'm up, I'm ready and I'm going. We also are officially going to be able to offer these services on July the 2nd. Ooh, so wow. phase two has been announced. So as of July 2nd, we'll be able to do the brow lift, lash lift. So Great. that's next week. Okay, perfect, perfect. My next tip for the morning is I use our white new gua sha because, you know, we all wake up puffy. Let's say we had a little bit of salt the night before or you know, we didn't sleep well. And I always find that this really does help me define and also uh, help with inflammation. That is something that does happen when you age. Um, you know, I've been able to really start learning about our gut. Um, and I have started taking the, um, the well bell capsules, um, you know, for my hair. This is not my hair, as everybody knows, it's a wig 
but um, I want to be able to now really start the process of the growth of my hair. It's for your skin and your nails. So very important. I really encourage everybody to start it. I've seen a huge difference with Steph and another member of our team who started about a month, two months ago. I couldn't believe her hair, her nails, her skin. So, um, and it also helps with inflammation, but I do eat foods that will help me like walnuts, berries, I eat, um, it helps with the, the collagen, but I, I eat really like bone broth is very good for collagen, very good for inflammation, um, you know, and so being my salmon, being mindful of what I'm putting into my body now is become a priority. So I'm just going to show you what I do with the, um, with the white gua sha. Again, just going to take two drops because I am going to be putting on um, a moisturizer. So I don't want it, I don't want my skin to be um, too oily. So I'm gonna take this and I, and as I said, I like to do my selfless sun drops, um, self, self tanning drops at the night because I wake, I wanna wake up looking like, hmm, okay, that looks good, definition. So again, I really work the um, gua sha going up underneath my jaw. The ridges I find are almost, they feel like scraping in a good way. Yes. Like yeah. it's different than the pink one that we have. It mm -hmm. is a little heavier weight. It has more of a scraping effect. So it really does feel like you're detoxing. Yes, 100%. And then I love to do my nose. One of the things that I have noticed with aging is that your nose does spread a little, your jawline spreads a little. Um, so it's, and your, you know, your eyes also start, you know, drooping. So it's really important that I'm not saying this is surgery, but I can guarantee you based on my experience, when you commit yourself to a ritual, it works because I am living proof. So again, and then I go underneath and around my eyes. I always like to do it in here too. And at night I do use my gold bar. So very important. I mean, I feel it. Sometimes I do this with the jagged um, part and I just really go in there. and in here. Okay, beautiful. Another little step that I do in the mornings because I do want fullness in my lip. I take the gold bar and I really go on top of my lip. Wow, okay. So, that is part of my um, morning routine. I'm so sorry, I always start with the brightening water, which I should have started with first, okay. It's, um, it has licorice in it and also arnica, so it really helps soothe the skin and also brightens the skin. Now, I know that you can't really tell on my lashes now, but I cannot tell you what the new lash has done for my eyelashes and every morning and I do it every morning and night. I just put some on my top lid and it really has enhanced the growth of my, of my lashes. Another tip for us is our eye makeup remover. So the eye makeup remover has glycerin and this is a lash, um, this is a lash lengthener and we sometimes don't realize that we're not conditioning our lashes. So what I do um, in the evening and also in the mornings, I will take a little bit of our eye makeup remover and I take a little spoolie and when you purchase it, I'll make sure that we put in some spoolies for you. And I just brush them through my lashes and it really has 
made them very, very silky because I do wear a lot of mascara and I do use this to remove my eye makeup. Okay. So we covered off some really great steps here. You know, the self tanning, the brow attention, the lash attention, what we put into our bodies um, to help with inflammation. And as well as, you know, when we're choosing um, products, especially makeup, you know, our makeup is very hybrid. And so what that means, it also conditions and, and really does uh, target skincare as well as makeup. Okay. Now, what I'm going to start off with, this is the best eye cream. So in this eye cream, the it, light is bright. So maybe just hold it close everyone. Yeah. This is the age in a tour. Perfect. Right. So it is a, a full size. Yeah. Okay. So what I love about this eye cream is that when you put it on, you smell cucumber and you know that what we used to do, and I'm sure some of us still do it, that when our eyes are sore or we want to be able to hydrate the, the skin, we put a slice of cucumber on. It's in here. And as well in here, it has caffeine. So the caffeine really helps with puffiness. Um, and as well as it um, has daisy root. So daisy extract is a very, it's a brightening flower and it really does brighten the skin. So I take a little bit. Mm -hmm. Elizabeth's asking, this is an eye serum. An eye I think serum. it said work the cream, but it- Okay, it's sorry, it's an eye serum. serum. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, Elizabeth uses it under her eye cream, which you can do. Yes. So I take a little bit. Oh, it's so cooling because of the cucumber. And I love to give myself, so this is what I do. Oh, so nice. You can smell the cucumber. And my skin's drinking a little bit of the caffeine, which I need. And I always massage it at my temples and underneath my eyes. Oh, it is, honestly, this is of great value. And I like to use it um, during the day because it really freshens me up. And it really does, um, you can feel it. You can feel the cooling effect on it. Okay, so Let's just recap. I've used my skincare and now I'm going to do my next steps. Any questions so far? Okay. We're, and Celine is on top of it. She's okay. answering our okay, questions. Okay, perfect, perfect. Yeah. So my next step is the Barbara Sturm Glow Drops. Radiance is really important when you're thinking about ageless makeup and ageless skincare. You know, we do all the steps prior to conditioning our skin and also um, ensuring that all the products that we use does, per, does um, present, um, you know, that radiance glow. But here it is in a bottle. It's called Glow Drops. And I always use it. So again, one to two drops. And it's just nice to also wear without makeup. Oh, so cool. Sometimes I keep my serums in the refrigerator. I know sometimes people will say to me it's not on the same floor or their kitchen, but I like to keep my serums because it's so refreshing. This one I kept in the refrigerator and let me tell you, it just feels so refreshing. So you can see, you can see the glow, right? I actually started doing my nighttime routine before I have dinner mm -hmm. and I find that my skincare is really showing its impact because it's on for longer, but mm -hmm. then also by the time I'm ready to sleep, I'm, you know, I have less to do. It's right. Right. And I can already be in the kitchen. I'm so sorry. I um, was charging my mineral mist and I left it um, at home. I This is where I would put the mineral mist on. I keep one on my, at my desk. I use it on top of makeup, underneath makeup. It is a mini oxygen facial um, when you're 
on the go or at your desk or sometimes you know if your eyes are a little dehydrated because i do touch up and we'll go over this and when we uh, get to the concealer i touch up my concealer during the day because i do have um inset eyes and i have very like dark circles and so for me it's really important to do a touch up around my eyes so that's why I do spend a little bit more time in terms of hydration, conditioning it, and ensuring that if I need to do a touch up, I'm, it's, it's all, it's, it'll go on uh, very, very transparently. As well, we're talking about glow radiance, and I love the texture of this because it's um, not oily. And so I've had, I do have some really good serums on. So I'm going, to, I chose Dr. Sabog's, see it, the Luminous Glow, mm -hmm. and it's pearlized. So it really does give you this um, glow effect, radiance, but it's also designed to tighten, brighten the skin and hydrate and the smell. So all of this is really important to me because it sets the tone of I've really taken care of myself, even if it's just to put on a moisturizer in the serum that I have that moment, even if it's two, what is that, five seconds of taking care of my skin. Oh, it just feels so good. And you can feel the tightening aspect to it. Okay. So for today's makeup, which is ageless, we're going to talk about definition. And definition does not mean precise um, application or um, you know, graphic lines. It really means about taking a look at what we want to be able to define. And I'm going to go through with you um, what I do in, in, in my application to Conceal, nothing is erased, you know, because thank God we have what we have and we're very proud of it, but we just need to, you know, ensure that we're feeling good about whatever amount we want to put on. You know, I, I chose today a very light textures, and, but I chose them with intention. And the intention is I chose them what will hydrate my skin, what will give me coverage, but not um, a heavy coverage. I chose two shades, which one is like the cooler and one is the warmer. And I wanted to, to make sure that everything that I'm showing you today does have a purpose of what we're doing. And on this weekend, it was, oh God, it was so much fun. We went out for dinner and I actually, you know, was able to you know, get dressed up, put my heels on. I did my makeup. I actually did my makeup like I'm doing it now. So um, it, you know, this makeup is very versatile. Either you can wear it during the day or if you want to go out for dinner, it was just, it was flawless in the terms of it made me feel so happy. And I chose pink um, and pink with a, a bronzy um, um, sort of like did bronze and sort of um, pinks together. So it's got the warmth and the cool. So we're going to go over that as well. Um, and we'll do it by step by step. Okay. So I am going to um, curl my eyelashes first because we haven't had the uh, opportunity to get the lash lift, but I will as soon as we're open. So just give me a moment of that. And I like to pulse it. And so our eyelash curler, the, um, the sponge is not hard, so it's not going to break your lashes. It's just going to lift them, okay? So I always do that first because I don't like to do my eye makeup and then do it because in case I tear, which sometimes I do. Okay, You're perfect. getting a question here 
about like color correctors and concealer for darkness. Mm -hmm. I know you'll show that like your tricks with the concealer. Right, right. I'm not a big fan of color correctors. I feel that that should come within and also of your, um, you know, of your skin, of your color matching. But I will definitely show you what I do because I go really hollow in there because I, I have, you know, deep set eyes. So I tend to go very hollow in there, but I'm gonna show you some, you know, techniques that will just make you feel brighter, um, you know, because we're, we don't want to have, you know, a lot of layering. This is, you know, this is not about powdering or, or, or erasing what we do have. So let's start. I always like for blending, I always like to keep a clean brush to blend because if you're going to be blending with the same brush that you have applied, it's just going to deepen the, the, the intensity of the pigment of the color. And I would rather just use a fresh brush to be able to just blend. So as everyone is aware, we, you know, um, because of um, the deep set, I tend to go dark in there, although, you know, I do have a natural um, brow, I mean, um, eye bone shape here. But let's start with the dual action. So I use two, two different types of um, concealers because I just want the dual action, which is a cream base. It um, goes on much more smoother. And because I'm using um, the blending brush, it, the pigmentation won't um, sit. It'll just move across the skin very, very transparently. So I just have to Take this mirror compact, and as you can see, I'm just blending it in. And I go on top of my eyelid to, to eliminate any dark shadows that we have. And this is a good tip because in, if you are rushing out and you don't have time for anything, I would definitely uh, use the dual action on the top lid and underneath because what that does, it will brighten this area and bring out your bone structure or bring out your eyes without having conflicting um, shadows of the blues and the, the darker colors that reside on your eyelid. So you can see it just brightens your lid. It makes such a difference, even if you're not wearing any, like you're not putting anything on top of it. Absolutely. For a no makeup, makeup look. Absolutely. So I do like, um, oh, I forgot my, um, what's the shade I used? The powder. Shell? Shell. Do yeah, you have a shell? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So the shell, I use that as a setting powder. It's it is really, really transparent and it does not um, add an, an extra layer. I just like to be able to just set my, um, my concealer. I actually have an amazing trick with my show is okay. I use the That's Mini it. Prime Skin Brush mm -hmm. um, and I pad it in. Okay. It's really, it really works. Okay. Whatever you like, but. So we're gonna, no, I'm open to different techniques. So you pat it, you yes. press it, press so you it. press it. Mm -hmm. So when you press, um, here is a tip, when you press, the pigment deposits right into the skin. When you sweep, it loosens it. So you'll see, especially when I'm doing my shadows, I do like to, to sweep and then I'll go in to do a press. So Just press show it. the shell, sorry, to keep asking. So this is a pressed powder. It's yes. a um, mineral base. Yes. And it's I'll, a very like for a light lighter skin. It's a great color. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it also has the vitamin C and E in it. It has um, hyaluronic, so it does have the antioxidants in it. So it's really important to um, you know as. So what happens sometimes is that your eyelids will tend to droop. So what I like to do is keep 
the intensity of the shadow on the outer corner. I'm going to keep this part light because what I want to do is open, lift, okay? So open and lift. And I will show you what we're going to be doing. I am going to use the molten mineral um, blushes here. So I'm going to show you the three that I'm going to use. And then I'm going to tell you something of great value. So this shade here is the rosy apricot. So again, I'm mixing the warms and the cools together. This one is the sandalwood. I love, 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 love. And that is more of the warm. It has a little bit of, um, it's, it's shimmery, but it's not, um, what's the word? sparkly at all. It's not at all. And this one is the pink bronze, which I'm going to use in the inner corner. Now, I want to tell you something of great value. Could you pass me the eye kit? Yes. Okay. So the eye kit, um, this is our eye kit, and it's valued at $195. In it, you get the three Moltens, you get the mascara, you get the primer, and you get the nude eyeliner, which I am going to use, and you get the um, eye makeup remover. This case, I love. I use it all the time. And if I'm running out, I will take it and put my, my sunglasses and my phone in it. So this is of great value. And I, I want to share great values with you because I want you to benefit of what we're doing today. So it's called the Highlight Kit, kit. H I um, Highlight Kit, and it is on the website. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to use my blender brush. I'm going to start with the sandalwood. This is, this shade can be used on any skin tone. It is so um, applicable to the tones and I didn't want to use anything taupey because I really want to bring out the greens in my eyes and I really want it to be a very natural look, but with definition. I'm going to start with the outer corner and I sweep. Can you see that? I sweep in. So you can see my movement. It's like a window shield wiper. I'm moving in and out. Now, can you just have a clip there because I just want to show them. Yeah. So I'm moving in and out, sweep, 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 and then on my outer corner, mm -hmm. and then my outer side. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So that way I can show you. Okay, perfect. I love how comfortable I am with everybody. Like, <laughs> you know, I'm like so open. It's like, you know, I'm talking about my wig. You know, the other little t tip I have is that, you know, I do wear wigs. And so when I buy them, I always have extra combs put into it so that when I put it on, it lifts, you know? So I have a little mini facelift every time I put my wig on. So I'm going to go back and just show you again on my outer corner, and I'm just sweeping it just above my eye bone. So what it does, it defines in here. And if, you know, you, you know, some people will say, well, you know, I don't have that definition. This will create a definition. So it's no hard line. We're sweeping. We're actually, it's absorbing into the skin. That's the beauty of these molten minerals. So you can see how it's just starting that lifting technique. Sometimes I go back and I just press into the outer corner, into almost like you're doing a little bit of surgery of an eye lift here. You're going right into your eye bone and you're just lifting it and sweeping it out. See that? Perfect. I'm gonna go back, it's a sweep. And my touch is very light, and this brush is amazing because it's a fuller 
brush head and so it's not flat so it won't deposit the color in little puddles. So this eye does droop a little bit more. So I'm just going to really press in here and lift it a bit. Back and forth. Beautiful. Sometimes what I just do is I do take the um, rosy apricot and I'm just going to go on top of my um, sandalwood just to bring the warmth, I mean the um, cool into the warmth and it's really a beautiful combination. I love that. Okay, now for my inner corner, I'm going to use the pink bronze and for that, I'm going to use a flatter brush because I really want this color to deposit on my lid. So I do like to use the concealer brush because it's a nice flat brush. And I take it and I'm going to pat it into the inner corner because that's where we tend to go darker. And so I want to open it up by using a lighter shade and this has the pink in it so it's really will um, brighten my inner corner eye. See that? Okay, I'm gonna go to my next one. And again, this is a, if you're just wanting one shade, you can put this all over your lid and into your like all over your lid up to your eye bone. So again, I'm not sweeping, I'm more of this patent press. Okay. Then I'm going to go back to the sandalwood because what I want to do is just extend um, or lift the outer corner of my eye. I'm not going to go past my eye bone. Um, you know, we can do that another um, session where I'll show you how to do you know, a wing or extend um, the shade there. But for today, I'm just going to use it as um, in the inner corner just to heighten my outer corner eye. So I'm going into the outer corner and I'm pressing it where in my crease, I was sweeping. So Kimberly's asking, what colors are you using? Maybe we'll just um, sure. put them up here or something just so that everyone, like you can show the camera easily. So what's on your lid right now? Pink so in my, in my crease, I have sandalwood. Okay. Okay. And on the lid, on the lid, I did the pink bronze. Okay. Perfect. Okay. And then I swept over with the rosy apricot, which I will also use on my cheeks too. Okay. So I'm going back to the sandalwood, which is the bronzier shade, this shade that I put on to my, um, my eye bone. I'm going back to it and using it on my lid. So you can see it's just lifting it there. And then I'm going to my other eye and the same. I had so much fun going for dinner. It was a lot of fun to go out. Okay, so you can see how it just opened and raised it. Okay, perfect. So those three, we're gonna circle back to them again because I will be using the sandalwood just to blend out the bottom of my eye. No defined lines, it's just about definition. And I will use the pink bronze um, in the inner corner of my, um, of my, um, the inner corner of my eye. Okay, so I chose today um, Sienna, which is a gel liner, 
which will last up to seven hours. It does have the vitamin C and E in it, so it, it really does condition the skin. And I'm going to just use it on the outer part of my eyelid, and then I'm going to, I'm going to smudge it. Okay, so I'm going to take the pencil and I'm going very close to my lash base because that is very youthful when you have a thick lash base. And this pencil does not pull, it's not pull, it's a gel and it's surprisingly easy to put on. And then I'm just going to take a little bit not on my skin, but really just right on, very close to the lash base. So you can see how it just really opened up the eyes, but I'm not taking any real estate away from my movable eyelid. This is really so close to my lash base. And then what I do is, I'm just gonna put this here for a moment. I just pull my eye out a little bit and I really intensify the end part because we tend to lose our lashes on the outer corner and I want the thickness to be there. Okay, on our next one, we'll, I'll show you how I do a wing without really extending it to my, um, outside my eye socket there. But you can see how it just really opened up my eye. I'm not going under the waterline. I'm just staying on top of the skin and just working it into my lashes. Okay, then I'm going to do my other side. And you can see I'm just going on top of the skin, very close to my lash base because that's very useful to have a thick lash base as opposed to a thick liner. And nothing is perfect. So if one eye isn't precise to the other one, we're good. And I did use um, Sienna because Sienna is, you know, it actually is a, a combination of a cool and a warm. It's not just um, a dark brown, so it does have a little bit of eggplant in it, which I love, and it really helps with my eye color. Okay, perfect. Sometimes what I do is I go back to sandalwood because I have, and I just really pat it into that other corner eye bone just to give that a little bit more of a lift now that I have the liner on. And your skin does move with you and that, that's all good. <laughs> that's all so good. Okay, next step is our um, primer. And I do use this religiously because now that I've really invested into my eyelashes, I, you know, I used to wear peel on lashes all the time. And through COVID, I really start to take care of my own lashes with um, the products that I showed you. But I started to use this lash primer and I really feel like everything matters, everything. You know, it's like, it's like a thread. If you let it go, then things, you know, erase. But if you, hold, you know, if you secure that thread, it's really just gonna build onto a beautiful, top. So I'm taking my technique here is I always use the compact upside down and I brush the primer through to separate the lashes. And it lengthens them as well. Okay, so that is our lash primer. And that also comes into the, in the um, eye kit as well. That value is um, it's unbelievable. In the um, in the eye kit, it comes with the XL XL mascara. But today I'm going to use the luxury mascara. But 
we can swap it out. That's not a problem. Um, and I will, should I use a luxury? Are they XLs? No, I think what's nice is having a, like a few different G masks. Yes, yes, yeah, different true. looks, right? right? So this one really does lengthen. The XL XL does, um, it thickens, but I'm looking for lengthening because I did use the, um, the gel liner to give me that thick base. So this technique I really found helps me with any deposits that I could, you know, do as an, when I'm doing my mascara. So it really helps me with applying it. And also I get so excited because I can actually see the lengthening of my lashes. I mean, This is unbelievable. Look at that. Wow. So you can see all the steps matter. All of them. I also sometimes what I just do is I press into the base just to give me that fuller look. And I, I take my time with putting it on. Wow. Okay. Now my other eye. Cheryl wants to know how you keep your lashes from falling. Or do you, sorry, do you wait for the lash primer to dry? And how do you prevent them from falling? What do you mean falling? I guess like keeping the lift of the curl. I think that's from when you pulse that really holds yeah. the curl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, doing the steps, I do the eye makeup remover first on it so that it softens it um, and it gives you that bounce. I found, you know, it's like anything. When you do your hair, you put the conditioner on. So when you blow dry, it gives you that bounce. Totally. It's the same methodology for your And lashes. also, Cheryl, it might be time for a new lash curler. Like Miriam said, you yeah. want the cushion to be very strong so that it doesn't damage. Right. And it could be it's that fun. you're- Yeah. Yeah. It could be what? It could be that the, the curls just lost its like um, spring, yeah. you know, so it's probably time to replace. Mm -hmm. um, and I personally don't wait for the lash primer to dry too long. No. Sometimes I'll go do my brows in the interim, but you don't have to wait. Mm -hmm. um, and Vicky's saying that this tip with the compact upside down is the best tip she's ever learned. Yeah. And it came I through agree. trial and error. Yeah. You know, I just thought, okay, there has to be a better way. So sometimes I take the point of the um, of the brush and I don't go back to dip it in, but I will just take it to the outer corner. Do you see what I'm doing? Sorry, do you see what I'm doing? I'm taking it to the outer corner and pressing it into my lash base so that it gives you that thicker volume of the intense color of the um, mascara on the outer corner. Wow, it's amazing. Okay. Then we're going to move on to um, putting the concealer on and a little bit of just soft, soft shading underneath my, um, on my lower level. So because I have the eye cream on, I'm a big fan of our soft blur. Okay. I will take the soft blur and I'll do it with a brush and I will sweep it under my eye for prep of the concealer. And this soft blur is, you know, almost like what they're doing now with the selfies and they go in and they soften everything up. This is my selfie tool. I love that. Yeah. And I take it right out here. And the other tip that I do right now is I will put it on my top lid to soften. This is also great if you um, just want sort of that soft blur on your face. I do take a brush and I do put it, it's very light. So you're not feeling that you have a film on your face, but it really does, I have found helps underneath my eye Okay, so for my concealer, as I said, I use two textures. I use our Photo Touch Concealer, which comes in a 
stick application. And I then go back to my silver palette and I put it on here because I just want to make sure that I also am loosening the pigment of it. Okay, so for this, because I want it to deposit, I will take the concealer brush, which is the flat end, and I will take it and I'm going to use my compact and I press it into the inner corner. And so what this does, it's, it's like a filler. It will fill out the dark hollowness that happens like right inside the inner corner and along the bridge. So you can see how it just really fills that out really beautifully. Then I'll go back in and I just pat it. I do this, you know, during the day, as I said, because um, I don't believe in a lot of thickness, but I do know that if I don't retouch, I can become very sallow there. And the key is to look fresh all day long. So I carry this with me um, with my mineral mist and my soft blur. I tend to go really dark in there. Out here, I can touch up with a cocoa bean to bring that lightness. Lori's saying soft blur seems to be highlighting. I think that's the ageless eye serum Sarah, underneath. It is. It's, yeah. It is. And some, uh, Nicole is saying you can see such a brightening effect with the inner concealer. It's gorgeous. Also, my biggest, biggest tips, like even when I'm cleaning the house, I will put that in there because if I pass by a mirror, I go, oh yeah, hi. But fresh. also the silver mixing plate really does, like that warmed up the concealer. I met a client in store who purchased it from the last masterclass, but she kind of forgot its purpose. Yes. Um, and really like the concealer as you did. Yes. And what's great is that you can go back to it. And I found one of the biggest things that used to happen to me before this, I would put it on my hand and then it would get on my clothes. And that was not a good thing. So again, I'm patting it into there. What I do sometimes too, depending, um, no, not sometimes, I think I do it all the time. I take a little bit of the shell that I used on top of my eyes. This is very, very transparent and it's not loose so you can control it, which is really important. And I pat on top to ensure that it's settling in. Okay. Then I will take the dual concealer in the light peach. I'm using light peach because um, I want the brightness. So I take some more of the like peach, I will take my blending brush and I will tap here. I'll go back to my compact and I let this sit for, just gonna show you what else I do here. Is there a new molten metal color coming? Um, not at the moment. We have a lot of new makeup coming. Um, a bronzer mirroring is going to show, mm -hmm. and um, the molten metals are going to be back in stock this week. Um, but they are in the highlight kit right now, which is on the site. Right. Okay. So I'm taking the concealer, the dual action, and I do take it up to the top of my cheekbone. So. One of the things that I did notice as the aging process has taken place is that my temples um, have lost um, collagen and elasticity in it. So it tends to go a little bit hollow and blue. So I take my concealer and I go up here with it to, to help with the brightening. And I let this, <clears throat> excuse me, sit for <clears throat> a few minutes. And then, I, because what I do is I will now apply my face. 
So I've chosen, sorry, taking a little break. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> I've chosen the prime skin in the medium. And this I have always referred to as my second skin. This is a real hybrid um, product because it's skincare and makeup in one. So I take one or two pumps. Sorry, it's a new bottle. Mm -hmm. And I take um, the Kabuki brush. Okay. And I always do this stipple effect with the prime skin. And I apply it on my skin in circular motion. So what's nice is I have that <coughs> undertone of a very warm shade because of my night before with the um, self tanning drops. Honestly, this is so hydrating. It's, <coughs> sorry. Yeah. Another break. Mm -hmm. You know what else is good to eat um, is watermelon. It's I so, it's so right hydrating. Watermelon and, juice is amazing. Yes. And it really helps with inflammation. And you know what else I've been eating is walnuts. So it has really um, helped me with my digestion. So you can see how evenly that goes on. And what's great, you see how my jawline is so defined because of the um, application I did last night. Beautiful. Oh, can I compliment myself? Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're going to go back um, to blending in my, um, my concealer. And it's absorbed already because, as I said, it's like um, hybrid. So it has the um, benefits of skincare. So I'm just blending it in, tapping it. No pulling. So you can see how it just really brightened my skin and just brought it up without erasing, you know. I love the little bit of the color that comes through um, when you don't pack on concealer um, all at one time. I, I love that. And I, for me, I love my hollow, hollowness. I just, some, I just want to eliminate the darkness. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to sandalwood and I'm going to take um, a smaller, um, this is our small all, all over brush and I'm just going to take it. So this is the shade I'm going to be softening underneath my, um, my lower lash level. I, I mean lower lash line. It's a level. <laughs> and I'm just sweeping it. Can you see? I'm just sweeping it gently underneath my lash line. And I'm just going to bring it in, up to the outer corner and up just almost like a, a very, very light liner. So it just gives you that slight little shadow, which I love. And then I'm going to do it on my other eye. And again, it's not defined. It's just almost like your natural color, but it has that, um, that sienna kind of touch to it where it makes your whites of your white's eye, eye look bright. And also it helps like if you have, everybody has a little hint of yellow in their eyes or they have a little hint of green or navy um, and it really does Bring it out. Shoshana says you're so beautiful. Oh, Shoshana, I love your name. 
Then what I do is I just take a little bit and I will provide everybody with these spoolies. I take a little bit of the spoolie and I put it on, I put a little bit of the mascara on the spoolie and I just go back and forth on my lower lash to give it some definition. You don't have to do this if you wish not to. And our mascara does not um, deposit, it doesn't fall. So you're not gonna have like droppings underneath your eye. Because trust me, I've tested it. Okay, perfect. I'm going to go back to the pink, pink bronze and I'm just going to take the brush and put it into the inner corner right here a little bit. It's not white, so it has that soft um, rosy color to it. So it just opens up the inner corner. Really important to keep this part open um, to bring the brightness into your um, eyes. Perfect. Okay. Now, what I do at this stage, I will put, um, a, what I do every morning, I'm so sorry, I forgot to tell you, I use our sugar lip scrub and that really helps remove any dryness because sometimes we sleep with our, breathe through our mouth and our lips become very dry. I talk a lot during the day, so you know my lips get very dry. I probably talk in my sleep, um, so <laughs> my lips get dry. So I always make sure that I'm conditioning that with my eyes. And I know it sounds like a lot of steps, but I've mastered this by keeping everything organized. So I keep my to, to my my brushing my teeth in a certain place, and I always put it back so I'm not looking for things. I keep my my lips in a certain place and my eyes so that it's, it cuts down the sort of oh, where is everything and the time. What I'm gonna do now uh, before I do the rest of my face, I'm gonna take our smoothing lip balm that I swear by and I, okay, I'm going, I'm going. I just have too much fun with everybody. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Nothing to um, worry about. Then what I will do is I take our vitamin E, can you find me the vitamin E stick? stick? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's lipstick. Okay. Uh, I have the vitamin E stick if you wish. Okay. So I do my vitamin oh, E uh, stick. Great. Yeah. I was wearing it when I started. Oh. Mm. My God, it's so easy. Okay. So now I'm going to start with my on a crunch here. Okay. <laughs> so let where is my oh, dancing? I'm dancing my eye. Okay. I'm going to use the clear eye um, brow fix. And I just sweep up my eyebrows. I'm going to take sorry Seth, can you just help me with it for a moment? Uh, I need my my eyebrow pencil. Sure. So sorry, give me a moment here. Going down the aisles, the aisles, the aisles. I know I brought it. Mm. I have lots of brow pencils. Okay. Okay. Help from the other aisle. Brunette? Brunette, yes. Okay. So I'm going to take brunette. And here it is. I found it. I found it. I found it. Okay, so this is a tip for me because um, as I've aged, I've lost, not that I had a lot, but I did lose the inner corners of my, um, my eyebrows. So what I do is I use brunette in the inner corner and because I wear bangs, um, I, I don't, um, I use deep brunette on my outer corner so I take it right where my iris ends. I'm gonna fill 
this in. And I'm just taking it up because it's really important to raise the arch where your hairs are. But, you know, a little help in lifting, it counts. Okay, so I've done the brunette in the front, and then I use the deep brunette on my outer corners. So I do a little lift, and I like to use the clear gel because it gives me a base, and it also sets the hair that I have. I always, you know, when people tell me about my skin, I always, it's always, I look at their hair and I go, oh my gosh, you have such beautiful hair. So God always makes sure that everybody has what they need. So you can see how that's lifted my eyes. So I did a little bit of a lift on the arch, brought it down. I love this shape that I have. I can't wait to, to do my brow lift tint and shape. So another important tip here, we're getting very micro with this, is that I'm, I use the champagne pink and I take it underneath my brow and I also take a little bit on the outer corner here. So I like to keep this part nice and light so that it's not coming inwards. I'm working it outwards. As we, you know, as we age, everything comes inwards. So it's really important to bring it out. So I'm just doing a little bit on top. And this goes really beautiful with the pink bronze. And you can also, if you feel you want this little lift up here, sometimes I add a little bit of, of the um, highbrow pencil. In, into um, the inner corners too, but I did use the pink bronze. Okay, then this is the exciting one. This is our warm glow and it will be um, arriving, when is the due date? So we're gonna be launching yep. at the beginning of July in a kit. Mm -hmm. um, so that is really exciting. And we're actually going to be making a few live today. So if you wish to purchase it, we will have a few on the site. Mm -hmm. I chose this one, which I love. It's baked, so it really does apply very, very translucently, um, transparently on the skin. It's not translucent, and it's a bronzing powder, and there's no shimmer in it, so it really does apply on your skin very, very smoothly. So I always like to put a little bit on my face. And again, I'm going to circle back that I do have a good base now that I put on the self-tanning um, drops the night before. I like to go up into my top hairline. And I also like to go on the um, outer part of my jawline. So you can see how it really does narrow down that jawline. For me, I like this look. So I go underneath. Another tip is sometimes our chin goes up a little wider. So I like to bring it, see what I'm doing right here, make it more of a, of a point. Okay. Then I will take a look more of the bronzing powder. And I just like to put a little bit on the outer corners of my nose to just slim it down a little. I'm very busy here in the surgery room. <laughs> okay. Um, I do tend to pull red around here. So I do take um, our multi stick in natural, which I do use um, to touch up my skin if I'm having, um, if I want to even it out. But um, I have to say today, 
and my skin is looking very, very even. So, so I'm just putting it around my nose. If, for example, I needed to touch up around my cheeks, I would then, and what I'm showing you here is that everything that we've done is so light because I'm actually going on top of the makeup. Okay. Love our cocoa bean. It is a pearlized satiny finish. It's not iridescent at all. So I will take it and I will go on my top cheekbone and I like to just go here because it just brings a beautiful rosy pinky pearlized lightness to it. So I am like glowy, but it's not oily and it's not shimmery. Another tip I'm going to show you with the um, warm glow bronzing is I'm going to give myself a little bit of definition right under, and I'm using the um, contour and highlight brush. So our, we do have an amazing offering with our brush set, if you want to just show that because Again, you're saving 20% on the brushes, so you do get four brushes in here, and you get the beautiful case as well. What does that value add to the brush set? I'm not sure, I'll have to check. So you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just sweeping it, not right to my, my um, nostril here. I'm just going there. So what it does, it just gives you that 145. And what this does, it just lifts your cheekbones, the top part, but it also gives you definition. Okay. Oh my God, I'm having so much fun. Okay, so we're gonna use pink quartz today. I wore this when we went out for dinner and Steph said to me, mom, you look so beautiful. And I said, it's the blush. You've not seen me in blush for a year and a half. So I'm gonna take the blush and I'm going to put it up to, I'm going quite high. I'm going right up to my cheekbone and then doing it on the other side. I love blush. And sometimes what another tip that I do is I take a little bit of the cocoa bean and I go on top very little. Everything I'm doing is very light. And just to blend it in. Wow, thanks. And we can also take a little bit over the nose and up top. You could also use the rosy apricot as well on top or just as the blush too. Okay, perfect. For my lips, my standard little helper here, which is the nude eyeliner. I like to put it into the corners of my mouth to just narrow it down and just on top of my lip liner, my lips. Okay, I'm going to use more, which is such a great neutral and it's not brown. It actually has all my favorite colors. It does have a bit of pink in it, a bit of coral, um, and it's light. It's not a, a dark lip liner. I do like to go, can you see that? It just went up a little bit on top of my natural line. I'm going to use today. Um, where is my lipstick? This lash is pink quartz. Um, Shoshana is asking. This mm -hmm. is pink quartz. It's stunning. Mm -hmm. I love it. I'm moving up a little more. I love our. I love our blush brush. It's in the lip so, Sorry, it's more. Sorry. Thank you. 
Okay. I'm going to use today, I'm using um, Hanky Panky, which is a satin finish, um, but a matte satin. So I love this color. This is, this is gonna work. <laughs> this is my go-to as Steph's is a G thing. This is mine. It's quite pinky. And I love it. But on top, I'm going to use our lip shine, which is um, also um, in the pink here color. So it's the XOXO. So I like to put this on top of my hanky panky because it gives it a little bit of a shine. And our lip toxel. This is a nice plumper without, um, stiff, like it, it doesn't have like um, a um, tingling. So Elizabeth is just asking for clarity how, where you differentiated the nude and the s'more on your lips. The nude? Okay, so I'll go over that. Uh, where's my nude? That's amazing where some things can disappear right in front of our eyes. <laughs> you okay. can just talk about I'll it. I'll just talk about mm -hmm. it. Here's my some more. Oh, here's my nude. So what I do with the nude, I just, sorry, I need my, I just go on top of my lip line because um, we tend to sometimes go a little dark there. So I just want to lift it. Like I want to open my lips up. I don't want to decrease my lips. So I want to open them up. So I'll do um, a little bit of the liner here and I blend it in. And I like a more narrow lip shape. Because the thinness of the, of the pencil, I can go right into small areas here. You can also use this in your, I can do it right now, in your inner, the lower lash line, the water line, to open up your eyes. Okay. Gorgeous, Marianne. We are. And I can run my hands all over my face and it's amazing because of the techniques. We also now are, are carrying the Cinema Secret um, brush cleaner. It is brilliant and everybody knows it has taken us years to find something that will clean your brushes without that film on it. And it really does lift any debris of, um, you know, makeup that's in your brushes. They come out, I'm just gonna show you like, new okay and you don't have to submerge it in water so you know your handles won't um won't flake it won't loosen the neck we're going to do a lot of content as yeah. well showing everyone how to use it yeah it is we've i've been using it now for months because we really wanted to test it mm -hmm. so it is amazing but do you like i just want to go over how everything has just lifted and opened up I probably would go back and do a little bit more bronzer like underneath my cheekbone. I'm really happy with my jawline. I would put a little bit more up here. And it's very light, so it doesn't puddle and there's no um, red in it, which is really important. Okay, did I do it? You did it. Yay. Thank you, want everyone. I know. Can you come with me? But you can see how the nice warmth and the pink and my lashes. Love you all. God bless. Thank you all so much. Reminding you that when you spend 300, you get the complimentary eye that serum. That in itself, I don't know what I did with it. I think it dropped, but. Oh, <laughs> you wait till, oh my God, wait. And if you put it in the refrigerator, mm, it's so cooling and depuffing.
Okay. Thank you everyone for watching. We're so appreciative and we'll the best time. Day. We're going to post this on YouTube. So if you're watching it after the fact, welcome, enjoy. And I got my necklaces six by yeah. G. And we can't wait to welcome you back in studio in Toronto mm -hmm. and take care of you for services. I'll take such, we'll take such good care of you. I promise. I promise. I promise. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you everyone so, so much. Have a beautiful day. God bless.